Hello. Um, today we're going to. This is my first video on a tutorial. So today we are going to repaint three more wagons, box wagons, just like this, and we're going to weather them as well. So we've got a G W one. Kit Kat one and a Smith's crisp snacks and nuts one, but we want them just to be plain like this, okay? So, to start with, we're going to take the lids off. You notice one of them is missing one, we're going to make one out of that, out of plastic card. Take the lids off. Then, what we're going to do is, because we want this to be metallic, what we're going to do is we're going to paint it gunmetal, but that will be later. So at the moment, we've got some brown and we're just going to paint them, the bodywork, so just the red bit, the green bit, and the white bit, brown. So, I've got, we'll start with the Kit Kat one. I've got a brush, and this is my modelling. It's just an old, well, it's a uh, lid from one of these really useful boxes um that's some that's one with my modeling sand in that's just from land of no beach actually so but yeah so it's just a lid from one of those boxes and what i'm gonna do is if i can get the lighting right i know it's not very good in here Doll up some out. Mix it up with a brush. And just all over. You might want more than one coat. I'll see how I go. I'll come back when I've done one coat. So, I've got one coat of the brown on, and as you can see, it's still, you know, wet. As you can see, also, in the middle and underneath, they're not going to be seen. So, you don't actually have to paint it. You can if you want, but, you know, I'm not. But, on here, on this, this wagon... While the f while you've waiting for this brown to dry, the first wagon that I did, I only weathered, and this was brought brown. So, so all the others are uniform with this. I'm gonna have to paint the roofs. So what I've done is I've found some grey paint. And um, all you have to do is just paint the roofs of the wagons. I've just got some paint on my thumb, just wiping it off. All you have to do is just paint wagons grey. The, the roofs of the wagons grey. So, just like so, like, all you have to make sure is it's covered. Uh, you might need more than one coat. But, yeah, so, I'll, sh I'll come back later with this done. So, now, I've just put one 
coat on again this does I don't know if you can see there this does need another coat when it's dried but that's only when it's dried isn't it so yeah um you may have noticed before I have taken it off the chassis the reason being is because we're going to paint the chassis now and what you don't want to do is get paint you know you don't want to paint over here so what we have to do also is take the wheels out this is because if we get paint on there it won't run properly and it might cause derailments so now this is off I've got some silver paint and move that out of the way. Oh, also these weights come in. This sh slot on the chassis there. You want to get rid of that as well. Well, don't get rid of it, but take it out. Put it out over there, out of the way. Um, and afterwards we'll glue that in place. So, so it. It just weighs it down so you don't have to, um, so you don't have to basically be hearing rattling and it helps over points as well. It reduces, you know, sometimes if, if you've ever noticed that your wagons jump over points, that'll be why. So what we want to do is just get the silver and just paint all over. The, the chassis of the wagon. And then when that's all done, you should only need one coat for this. But once again, this bit here you can see where I've you know just done that and it's got a lip over you don't have to paint this because your wagon will fit on top of this and then your wheels will be in there so all you have to do is just paint the bits that you can see that will be seen and, and that will be fine just paint all of it and then we'll get to the detail afterwards as well so I'll be back when I've painted all of that. Okay. Oh, and just one more thing. Try not to paint the coupling there. You might have different couples there, couplings there, but you basically on the Hornby models, on the Pico models, on the rails, come on like that. And then as they pull, push, tension locks, basically. Um, you you don't you can paint them. Um, I'm choosing not to. So yeah. So now, as you can see, I've finished the silver or metal, whatever you want to call it. Don't worry, this won't be kept the same during the weathering it'll be dulled down and a bit of rust will be put on as well so yeah I'll get on with painting the rest of the truck with the other layers and then I'll be back to do the weathering see you in a bit oh, now uh, I've just painted the wagon second coat and now you can as you can see you can see none of the Kit Kat bit on it unless you look inside or on the bottom and here unless you look on the other side the white's gone so that's good I just want to talk about before I start the weather I want to talk about the weathering so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some washes and that'll be black washes and that'll be all over and that'll include the chassis once again I won't have the wheels in um, 
And then what we're going to do is get a fine detail brush. Get some of the silver again. Get a fine detail brush. And on here, get the silver along here, along all the bits that would be metal. Um, all these, the hinges, the pole, the locks, the, and then, um, put another wash on here, so that would be just on the brown bit and the detailed bits, and then we'll want to get some orange and dry brush some orange on in bits, and that'll make it look like it's rusting. Then you want to paint the buffers black. The buffer stops here, black. And um, do some orange on the here. Dry brush some black along the top, because we're, uh, we're doing a steam area. So... We're wanting to do that, um, and as the idea is, as the steam will come out of the the loco, um, the soot that comes up with the steam—that's why it looks a bit black sometimes—will land and settle along the middle mainly. So that's why there's a bit of a strip, but it's all going to be grimy anyway. But it just concentrated along the middle, and then that will be that done. So, yeah, so I'll get on with the weathering of these other new trucks. These are second hand, so that's why one of the lids is missing. But I mean, second hand, new, um, it's it doesn't matter, so you can still make it suit your layout as I'm showing. So, yeah. So, now I've painted everything that I need to paint for the minute. So, this has got two coats on. This was the Nuts, Crisps and Snacks one. This has got two coats on. This Kit Kat one's got two coats on. And the Great Western has got two coats of brown on. Um, we've got the three chassis here. They've both got one coat of silver on, but you only need one coat. And behind here, we've got the two lids. Um, with the coats of grey on. So, yeah. So, when it's all dry, I will be doing the weathering. Uh, oh, and I've got... Uh, three sets of wheels here and the weights and of course the one that I've already done for my layout but that's out here because I'm using it as a model um, like I said before this is my first cho video tutorial and I'm I shall be doing more um, I'm going to be I'm in the middle of sorting some wagons out uh, not wagons carriages out um they'll this is the one and I've we've got three like this they're a bit I've taken them apart to see what I can do with them and we've got three like this and we but we want them this color so I'll be repainting these and detailing them and weathering all four of them um, on another video um, so that's just what's coming up um, I'm, my layout's actually 50 miles away at the moment um, because it took my granddad's and we don't live anywhere near my granddad's so um, I came back yesterday from a week there and we've been doing lots of work and I brought eight wagons Four, well, eight, uh, four wagons and eight carriages of the local carriages there, and I'll be doing those. 
so yeah so I'll be doing that yeah so I'll be doing the weathering as soon as this is dried so now this is kind of dry I'm gonna start the weathering see this is dry so I'll weather this first so I'm going to start by putting some black wash on uh, wash shade whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter so I'm just putting some in there it's just a little um, paper cup um, Let's put that in there. That's not my wash brush. This is the wash brush that I'm gonna use. Um, this, when you apply it, like um, you can apply you apply it quite thickly. Um, but it's okay because it dries flat because it's basically just watered down paint. You can make your own washes, um, but I recommend buying them. Just because, um, basically, to make it, it is just literally watered down, but you need thinner, and that's quite expensive. It's actually cheaper to buy. Um, to buy what a wash, as it is. You can get them from anywhere. Um, Games Workshop do them. Um... The one that I'm here now is from Game Color. Um, um, Humbrol, do them. Um, I think that oh, there was another company. I just can't think of the name. It was just well, anyway. Um, you apply that basically all over where you've painted that takes half an hour to dry um, so I'll just do the well when these are fully dry I'll come back okay right so now the first wagon is dry It's this one, it was the nuts one. Um, and just because I've used this brown doesn't mean you can't use other brown. For this, I used this brown uh, for these two over here, but for this one, because it started as a white, I used uh, this brown here. From Games Workshop. That's an old one. You have to get a conversion chart. But you know, if you go in and say I want Caltham Brown, they'll say, "Well, we don't do it anymore." But this is the closest one. You knew that most places. But um, anyway, um, I use that for this one. It's worked out quite well. But once the weathering's done, you will not know the difference. I promise you. So you use any brown you want. Um, but that's just to prove, I'm doing that just to show that you can use different browns. And after the weathering, it will not matter. You can really tell the difference, actually, there. After the weathering, you will, really will not tell. So, I've got some wash in here. I've done. I've got some on my brush. Nice. Quite a lot on your brush, you really want. Knock some off. And what you want to do is just cover the whole thing and like I said before it does take ages and ages and ages to dry so just paint that on and I want some more wash in the tub in a minute just paint this on really you know it doesn't 
Don't worry about overdoing it. Because it won't matter. Because I can show you, I, I will be showing you how to tone it down. Anyway, because the way you do it, you want to tone it down. Just so it looks like it's muddy. In patches, sorry, my hand's in the way there, isn't it? So I don't know if you can hear that, my dad's got a really loud voice and they're watching Bondi Beach down there. Bondi Rescue or something. Um, so just really paint it on. Let's get some more wash. Well, what you want to do is just tone it down. And basically what you want to do is you want what this does is it goes into the recesses so it makes it look a lot more detailed it gives a lot of depth to the model if you have only got ready to run stock on your layout i highly recommend either weathering it yourself which like i'm showing you really easy to do a lot of people do it with an airbrush but I think that you can you can get exactly the same quality of finish by doing it with a normal brush. So you don't need to go and buy one because airbrushes can be really expensive. Um, but what is different about it, it's your hobby, you can do what you want to do. Um, it's fine. These tutorials are really good. But I mean, you don't have to use them. So, yeah, so these are done. I'll come back when I'm ready to do the next step. Right, so the washes last night didn't dry, so I had to leave them overnight. So they're dry now, so what we're going to do now is, what we've got to do is tone down the... Um, the dark bit. Okay, so to start with, what we do is we get our gun metal. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pick out the detailing. Using a fine detail brush. It's a bit hard to show you. So you just find metal bits on it. And just paint the metal bits on it like that. So I'll do that and I'll show you when I've done it. Right, so now the when the wash is dried and I've put the metal bits on, um, what you have to do then, when they've dried, that shouldn't take long to dry because basically you've not actually got that much on. You don't have to put loads on. Just get some more of the wash. And then get your wash brush, scrape it off, and just paint it on all over like you did before. Just like before.
You want to apply it nice and thick again. Right, when you've done that, what you have to do is to just get an orange. Uh, while that's drying, I obviously haven't finished that, but I will. While it's drying, you, all you have to get is this. When you've put your wash on, when that's dried, get some orange. Get a dry brush. And set some orange on the brush. We then knock most of it off. And then just put it in, dry brush it on in places. So that'll make it look a bit rusty. So. I'll finish the washing and the dry brushing on here and then I'll be back. Right, so this wash is now done. Uh, it's really gone really dark now. Um, I've stuck the chassis back on. And that's okay to do that at this stage. As you can see, there isn't really much of a difference at the moment. It's just the finishing touches now, all you have to do. So, what we want to do is, we want to get our orange again and dry brush that onto the metal bits on the body. So, you just want to dry brush it on. Just so you can see, just go all over the silver bits, all around the model. And it'll look really good. Obviously, just try not to go too over the top when it comes to the hinges because they'd be used and oiled. So they wouldn't really be what be too rusty. But everything else quite rusty. Um but it wouldn't be just rust. Um you definitely have it de they probably would they wouldn't really clean it. Um, so they wouldn't clean it so you know it'd just get old and dirty and that's why we've got a lot of wash on that just symbolises the dirt and all the yucky stuff that gets on them from the railway remember you've got to remember the railways, you know, they're not the cleanest places, they're oily, they're sooty, they're, well, they are in the steam era and diesel era. We'd, we uh, have sat for the um, dieselization period, so, you know, 50, uh, late 50s, early 60s this was. So, what we have to do is we have to make sure that um, it's all, you know, done and sorted, so, um, you know, it's oily, it's grimy, it's sooty, so I'll do that on all the others, and then 
I'll be back with the next stage. So now we've got the next stage. Just get some black paint. This is Humbrol number 33 paint. Just get some black paint on your brush. And here, on the buffers, you just want to paint them black. Because they wouldn't be metal. Um, and they'd just be black, like that. Um, yeah, just like that. So you just need to do that. And then I'll be back with the next stage. Right, while you've got the black paint out, what you need to do is just get your, your roof or your lid or whatever you want to call it. Um, your dry brush. Some just some black. And just and just sort of paint on it. it. Doesn't have to be too much of a dry brush. This might take a while. Um, what you can do instead of using a dry brush is just get a, a normal brush like this. Get some paint on. And then it'll wipe most of it off. Then just paint on most of it. Like that. And then what you have to do. Then you have to do your dry brushing. So then, because now you've got your base layer. You can either let that dry or you can just carry on. Um... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that dry and then just keep adding to it until it looks like that. Really? Can't see that very well. Um, just darker to light. It's got to have black all over it. Um, here, we have got a wash on. So what you want to do is just dry brush then put a wash on over it and that will just darken it right down again okay then when you've done that all you have to do is get your dry brush again so you just clean that out from because you don't want to mix the black up with this you get your brown again open that up get some on your brush on your dry brush Knock that paint off. Get your wagon. Just lighten up. With that. So you just need to do that on all the surface areas. And what I'll do is, I'll come back when it's done and show you. So what I've done now is, I've finished the dry brushing on here, got the chassis on, on here, I've just put a wash on there. A black wash on there and then I'll finish off with the dry brushing I'll show you that um, I'm just gonna put the wheels on now because the this is an old model um, it has got plastic wheels and they're black plastic wheels but on some of the new models, this is from, these wheels are from um, the, the coach, the, the these coaches that I showed you earlier. Um, they're actually just a metal disc. Um, it's just a silver disc. Um, so some people like to just paint these, but because these are old uh, models, you know, they're already black. So I don't need to do anything with those. I'm just going to put those back in. It's a bit 
bit fiddly. Um, that's one. Once you've got one, of the sparks in the way they work is it, they've got spikes coming up the top here, and in the I don't know if you can see it there, in here there is a hole in which the spikes go. So you just have to get that first one in, and then the other one will just, and then it'll hold while you put the other one in. Unfortunately, I haven't got any track here to show you how it it look on the track. What I will be able to show you though, when they're all done, because they're not yet, is the rake of four with them, and I'll put some photos on at the end for that. Okay, so basically finished. I will show you just how I finished doing the the roof uh, when that dries. Uh, I've got a really hot lamp here, so that'll hopefully help to dry quite quickly, just while I finish the other ones off.